You wanna upgrade to another house, but all your equity is tied into your current house. So what do you do? Do you sell first and buy a new home or do you buy that dream home and sell your house? It's very overwhelming, it's a lot to take in. But today, I'm gonna to share with you the best strategy to handle this. I'm Maureen Folan and this is A Moment with Maureen. So my husband and I recently found ourselves in a situation where we wanted to sell our home and upgrade to a new home. However, we didn't want to move twice. At the time, we had two young babies, a dog. In a perfect world, it would make sense for us to sell our house, move into an apartment, and take time to find something. However, we were not in that kind of situation. We needed to sell our house and make the one move immediately into our new house. So what we did was we put our house in the market, sold it within two weeks, but what I did, I asked the buyer to give us an extended closing date. So instead of closing within the typical two to three month transaction, we asked for four months with an option to even extend for an additional two months, which would give us six months in total to find our dream home, just in case we didn't want to be pushed or rushed into buying just anything. So once we went to contract on our house, we were fortunate enough that within two weeks, we found our dream home. And instead of having that extended closing date, we ended up pushing everything forward and moving in sooner. So I understand it is a very daunting, a very nerve wracking process, but this is why you need someone to guide you through it, hold your hand and make sure you're making the right decisions every step of the way. And I'd love to be that realtor. So feel free to give me a call with any questions. I'll be happy to go over the whole process from A to Z. Talk to you soon. Bye.